Hey peoples, Gamester8000 back with another video. And today we are continuing our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. Uh, sorry, my controller got messed up. As you all know, I use a wave bird. Anyway, as you all can probably remember last time, we ended off our episode in the middle of Route 15? 14. And, before we get started on today's episode, let's go through our team. We have Phlox. Good as always, we have Ton. Looking nice, we have Puff. A great team member. We have Goat. The Game Breaker. We have Shronid. The Crit Master, and we have Female Sign. Female Sign. Anyway, let's go over what we're going to do today. We are going to finish going through these routes that you guys wanted me to record doing. Then, we are going to start working on the Poison Gym. And if we have some time, we'll start going through uh, Sylphco, which you guys also wanted me to record. And that will take an episode or two to finish. What's up, bro? You can answer my question. I don't know who that is. I can leave. Okay. All I want to know. I don't want the baby coming in here. Okay. So. As I said, we will just be doing what I mentioned, unless we have some extra time, then we'll do Sylphco. Ooh, Goat's level 39 now, nice. Uh, as you all saw, Goat has had some new moves since we last used him. We have he's Surf and Strength. I'm going to move some stuff around because of his new moves. And there we go. That's all I wanted to do. Whoosh. If you all want, since uh, Goat's pretty much going to break the game. You know, actually, as you all know, my team is pretty overleveled, and uh, everything seems to be going great. If you all want, I can change the team around and make it a little more interesting, and bring those in in case something bad happens. I want to make this, this exciting, but also, you know, not an immediate death wish. I didn't fight you. So comment down below, do you guys want me to change up my team to make it more interesting, or do you guys just want me to keep my team? Because I don't really care. And also, uh, after this Nuzlocke, I'm probably not going to do any more Nuzlocks unless you guys want. There's only one way I'd do a Nuzlocke now, since I find these pretty boring. The only way I'd do it is if maybe, maybe I decided to start streaming. That might be some fun. And I could just talk to you guys while I play. The reason I find it boring is I'm just playing the game normally, but a little more cautious. Because when I normally play Pokemon, I just catch six Pokemon I really like, and then go through the entire game with them. And if it's a new game, then I'll complete the Pokedex. If it's an old game, I'm just going to keep the save file like that, maybe re reset it. If I didn't get any shinies. Well, some good news is we are almost out of these roots. Then we can finally get along with the gym and Silphco. Mashing the A button because it's a Pokemon game. Mashing the A button, making me feel like I'm going insane. I'm singing to put up some entertainment. I'm singing. Hopefully you guys don't get annoyed by it. I don't know. Ice beam, bro. Anyway. Since, uh, it's gonna be pretty quiet, what would you guys like to see me do next? Like, I'm up for anything. To make this... Cause, let me start over. What do you guys feel like you want me to do? Cause, 
As you all know, this is pretty boring, but if you all want, you can give me some suggestions down in the comments. You know I always ask for it because I love comments, but I'm curious. What do you guys want to see from me? Because I like Pokemon. I like playing Pokemon, but I don't play it all the time. I just pick it up whenever I'm bored. So, eh. But if you guys want, you can tell me some ideas down in the comment section if you want to see more Pokemon content or if you want to see other content. I could try doing those, uh, can you beat blank with only one blank? If you guys want to see that, I think I could be able to do that okay. Who knows? Anyway, Goop's going in the back. Oh, cool, everyone's 39 now. Except Goat that's 40. There we go. That's a good placement. Gonna fight people, get some XP. Gonna fight people, fix my OCD. Gonna fight people, make me feel good. Gonna fight people like I should. Button mashing. Ooh, I know something I can talk about. If you all haven't heard, uh... SSF2, me and my brother play that a couple, me and my, bleh, me and my brother play that on the channel a couple times, they've recently come out with a new update, I think it's called 1.2.4, it's either 1.2.3 or 1.2.4, I can't remember, sorry, I'm not good with numbers, but, uh, I'm gonna try to do a video on that soon, like, maybe day after tomorrow, because I always take a day break after a Nuzlocke, sometimes two day breaks, I don't know. Anyway, I'll probably end up doing a video on that to show you guys what they added, it'll be fun. Coffee! Oh yeah, and the way I got this info is from uh, the Mickleyod Gaming YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want any kind of SSF2 uh, if you want notifications on most things SSF2. S Mick Layod Gaming will have it all because Mick Layod Gaming is the person is the I'm pretty sure the primary developer of the of the game. So yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description in case you guys get interested. Speaking of uh, Smash games, what's your all's favorite? Uh, I gotta say, mine's probably uh, SSF2. I love it. I love Spr I love sprite games. I love Smash, it's my favorite series. I love sprite games, put those two together, oh man, that's amazing. There's only a couple of issues I have with it. Uh, it's only available on PC, which is obvious. It's a Smash fan game, I don't think they put it on a Nintendo console. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah. Online's pretty bad, but they just did a recent fix to that. Well, kind of. You see, when you tried playing online on SSF2, if you were waiting in a lobby waiting for someone to join, for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason there was no way to get out of the lobby. You'd have to turn off the game and turn it back on, which is really dumb. I don't know why they did that, but it was pretty dumb. But recently they fixed that by adding a quit option, which was really nice. Uh, what else? I don't think there's any big changes. Some characters got new costumes. I won't get into that because I want to show you guys the costumes as a little surprise. Uh, what else? Uh, there's a new assist trophy for uh, Bullet Bill. I'll tell you guys that because I'm probably not going to show that off. Because I have trouble, uh, I don't use items. I don't use items. And assist trophy, what you get is completely random. So I'll just say that out loud. 
Uh, Waluigi got his final smash. I'll probably try and show that. If I can remember. Anyway. Uh, what else? What else is this up to related? That's pretty much it, to be honest. Oh, crap. Rock slide it. I don't know. That has a chance of getting a crit, right? Yeah! Shrunted! You got this! Switch to... Oh, screw it. Let's go Puff. Puff has Psychic, right? Yeah, Puff has Psychic. Wow, Puff, you're pretty weak. Either that or Ivysaur is very beefy. But I'm pretty sure you're just a little on the weak side, Puff. That's fine. Oh, not stats. Let's switch Tawn out. Alright. I believe this is the last trainer we have to fight. I can't quite remember. I hope it is. Oops. Sorry, I love hitting the shoulder buttons. Alright, Gloom. Let's do Swift. This won't kill, but it'll do some. Let's do Thunderbolt. Okay, Thunderbolt's better than Swift, even if it's not very effective. Ton because he is out of Thunderbolts. Man, I feel bad for Ton. He's pretty much a one-trick pony. Because in Gen 1, the Steel type doesn't exist yet. All Ton can do is use Thunderbolt and that's it. Every other move is pretty garbage. Because Swift is still a physical type move because the physical special split hasn't happened yet. I believe that's what they call it. And, uh... I don't think his, I don't think his move pool has as much to be uh, desired. I know he has Thunderbolt. I know he can get Thunder. Sonic Boom. That's pretty bad. Wait, one of my Pokemon got poisoned. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I'm sorry about this, guys. You may have to deal with a little flashing. Just thought I'd put that up as a warning. Because poison in this game flashes a bit. I hope that doesn't set off anybody's, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. If you get a headache by watching this, please look away. I don't want to cause anybody any harm because of this. Oh, Puff is poisoned. Okay. Luckily, I turned off uh, move animation, so I don't think it'll show anything in battles. Go to old guy with, with body slam. Wait a minute, how much really do you Okay, that does. That does. Oh, they're all crits. Okay. Get slammed. Puff can handle this. Body slam and dead. Alright. Puff's level 40, nice. We gotta hurry to a Pokemon Center. I don't know if Puff's the only one. Yeah, Puff's the only one that's poison. That's pretty good, I guess. Everyone's level 40 except Female Sign, so Female Sign get in there. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe this is the last trainer we have to fight. I know we're getting close to the. To the. I know we're getting close to. Frick. Fuchsia? I think it's Fuchsia, yeah. I think we're getting close to Fuchsia. And we're out of body slams. Oh no. Surf them. Get it, female sign! Farfetch. Get that out of here. This isn't Gen 8. You can't evolve. Whoa! Swords Dance! I didn't know Farfetch could learn Swords Dance. That's pretty scary. 
I mean, it's still a far-fetched swords dance, but still. Get that out of here. Female sign! You got this! Surf them all out of here! Alright. Is that it? Gosh, no. okay, this is the last one for sure. Because I can see we're about at that thing, I don't know what it is. Do you know what it's called, those things where you cross through them and they take you to a different route, or the, or a town, or city? I have no idea. Oh no. Get in there, Flox, you got this. I better not fall asleep. If you all don't know, sleep is very bad this game. <sighs> Sorry, I was yawning. Sleep is very bad in this game because if you fall asleep, you have to... Well, for one, you're asleep, so you can't do anything until you wake up. But in Generation 1, it takes a turn to wake up. So if you wake up and the opponent's faster than you, they can just put you right back to sleep. And it's broken. And it sucks. But, if you ever want to be mean to your friends, just, uh, I guess you could just do that. Of course, it won't work very well, but, okay, I have 50 points to get to the Poker Center. That's a lot. Maybe. It goes down by one, right? Yeah, okay. Why is it making the noise of a new route? There we go. We're in Fuchsia, everybody. I'm so sorry if this hurts anybody's eyes. If you want, you can look away and I'll tell you when it's over. Alright, it's over. Again, really sorry if that hurt anybody's eyes. I, I can't control poison. Well, I mean, I guess I could have wasted an antidote, but I really didn't want to do that. Anyway point thing is, it's over. Alright. Female sign, you can stay in front, I don't really care. So I'm gonna check the time the video has. Alright, we have 13 minutes. That should be enough time, so let's get this gym over with. Not talking to you, random guy. So for all of you that don't know, uh, Koga's gym... Specializes in poison types. For some reason, some of them have psychic type Pokemon, but this is a poison type gym. <sighs> wow, that did nothing. Come on, female sign. Maybe Surf will do more. Nope, Surf did pretty much the same. Oh, God. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll kill him in this next turn. All right. I forgot, everybody. You see, I'm pretty sure... Let's go to the this. Uh, no, Koga's Gym is next. Huh. There's a pretty high level gap there, not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, poison, but also has to be good against psychic types. Let's go with... Let's go with GOAT, because this gym sucks, because as you all know, the Psychic type is broken in this game, and if you don't know, the Psychic type is broken because almost nothing can beat it, and if you don't know why, it's because, uh, oh yeah, there was an error in the coding to where ghost types are not very effective against psychic types in this gen. Uh, and also, what else, what else was there, what else was there? Uh, the only thing that's super effective against psychic types now is bug type. And the bug type in this game is terrible. It's, it's, it's not even really a type. 
It's sad. Uh, what else? Uh, as you all know, the Psychic type has moves like, of course, Psychic. Which is a very strong move. What else? Uh, amnesia. Which raises the special stat. And for all of you that don't know, this game, the special stat is one whole stat. So, for example, Kadabra. When you look at Kadabra, you think, oh, okay, that's going to be a very easy KO. Because Kadabra has such low special defense. But in this game, special is special attack and special defense. So not only does Kadabra have a ridiculously high special attack, it's going to have a very high special defense. Making Alakazam one of the best Pokemon in the game. In the competitive scene. If you ain't using an, if you are not using an Alakazam, you are not gonna win. And there we go, juggler. Alright. When are we gonna fight some poison type Pokemon? I also study the way the blah 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 blah. Alright. Talk about ninjas using animals. Okay, are you gonna use any. Oh, look! Another whip! This guy has poison types, right? Yeah, this guy has poison types. Don't you love how many trainer classes have whips in this game? There's. The Tamer, which I now know. There is. It's not, there's cue ball. I think it's called the cue ball trainer class. There is, I think ace trainers are in this game. I can't remember, but if ace trainers are in this game, I'm pretty sure that they have whips. Uh, what else? The gym leader Sabrina has a whip. Uh, what else, what else? Does the electrician have a whip? I can't remember if the electrician trainer class has a whip. I'm pretty sure it does. Ooh, hydro pump. Nope, I don't want it. Because I already have surf. Oh yeah, fun fact. In this game, the move deleter doesn't exist. So if you teach your Pokemon in HM, yeah, you're never getting rid of that. Let's put Flox in front. Flox is pretty strong. Sorry about the flashing again. Let me. See. You know what? No. I'm gonna see if I have anything to remedy that. You know, screw it. Let's just use a max, a full restore. I don't really care. There we go. I don't want you guys' eyes to hurt. What's up, trainer? Stop right there. Our invisible walls. All right, this guy's gonna be a tamer. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have poison types. I can tell by their uh, text boxes, because it seems they all have like a special personality. This guy has ground type, so thanks for proving me wrong, jerk. Oh well, ah my ear. Ooh, get that out of here! I don't want to die. All right, another Arbok. Wait, no, that was a sand slice. This is the first part of it. Alright. Drill pack, and I think it's dead. Yeah, nope, it's alive. And now I'm point paralyzed. Thanks a lot, pal. And if it all. Oh, yeah. The poison type in this game is also very bad. If I remember correctly. Because uh, there's not that many uh, poison type moves in this game. Toxic. There's Toxic, which I don't think is very good in this game. I don't remember. But Toxic. Poison Sting, which is obviously bad. Um, what else? What else? Toxic, Poison Sting. Uh, I think Poison Powder is a Grass-type move. Sludge. I don't know if Sludge Bomb is in this game, but if Sludge Bomb is in this game, then Sludge Bomb. 
And that's all I can think of. So, the ones I know that are in this game is Sludge. There's Sludge, Poison, Sing, and Toxic. That's all I can remember. If you all can remember any other Poison type moves, please comment them down below. I'd love to read them. What else? Poison Sting. Wow. That did a lot. Oh yeah, guess what everybody? We might lose a Pokemon against Koga. Because if you all don't know, Koga is known for having a Weezing that knows self-destruct. I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon some because I don't feel like walking all the way back to the Pokemon Center. No, 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 I'm fine. And yes, I still have Super Potions. I never felt like going and buying Hyper Potions. Actually, I don't think I ever saw Hyper Potions in the shop, so... Anyway. Alright. I don't know if we have... We don't have anything to take care of that paralysis, sadly. And I'm going to switch my team around a bit. I'm going to put Puff in front, because Puff has psych Psychic. And let's go, Koga. Yup, I dare to challenge you. Poison and sleep. Okay. Whatever you say, pal. Okay. I don't remember if you're part poison, so I'm just gonna body slam you. No! No, not sleep! I guess you did warn me. And you don't do much damage, so... Pfft, tackle. Oh my god, please wake up! See why sleep sucks? Not only not only does it take a turn to wake up so you don't get to attack that turn, but sleep can last up to seven turns, if I remember correctly. And now I can't use Puff to take care of the rest of his team. Well, maybe I can. I can take care of these Venonets. You want to see a real psychic boy? Get that out of here. He lowered my special. Oh no. Oh no, toxic! Well, that venom's out of here now. I gotta switch out Puff. Why does he have three venonets? I know this is Gen 1 and everything, but what happened to his good Pokemon? Where's the Weezing? Where's the Arbok? Where's the Venomoth? Jeez, oh, man. You used to be cool. You used to do stuff. Wow, they got rid of his wheezing. Rip. Also, that Venonoth's level 50. That's pretty scary. Oh, no. No, you piece of garbage. Don't use that double team strat on me. Okay. I think we'll be fine, everybody. What's up, bro? Why'd you come in here? Huh? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, shut the door, bro. Isn't that funny, though? I guess, but... Michael was showing me a funny joke on his phone. And there's the TM for Toxic. Alright. Oh, crap. He's done, he's done, talk. He's done with talking. Alright. 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 We now have Koga's gym badge. Oh, crap, how do I get out of here? I gotta check. Okay, Puff's poisoned. I have 44 walking. I have 44 times to walk. Sorry for the flashing yet again. If you guys want to look away, I'll tell you when it's over. Oh, wow, the walls even flash. Yeah, I'm just gonna get away from that. Anyway. 
Uh, come on, get me out of this place. Thank you. Alright, you can look away now. You can look, but you can look now. There we go. Alright, so as a recap on what we did today, we made it through Route 14, took care of all the trainers, and we finally finished that, s that segment. And we got the Koga's, we got Koga's gym badge. How much longer do we have on this video? Yeah, this seems like a good place to stop. So anyway, uh, if you feel like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment, wait, let me start over. If you want, please like, comment, and subscribe if you- Oh, God, Saffron, why? I'm sorry, it's just- Jeez, why is it yellow? I love the color yellow, don't get me wrong, but jeez. Anyway, if you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment what you want to see me do next, because I have no idea what I should do. And that's gonna be it from me. May the Magic Carps be with you. And all that jazz.